We've taken control. What is going on YouTube? It's Acrylix here, and today, as you told the title, we're going to talk about mil um, private military boarding school versus public school. Um, what the differences are, because a lot of people ask, you know, what, like, what is the difference? Like, what, um, what's different between the two? And so I kind of want to answer those questions today. Um, so the difference between public school and a private boarding military school is obviously there's a lot of things that are different. One, public school from what I remember, which I was in a lot of my life, public school, but once you move out of public school and you move to something else, or a different institute, or a different school, you know, you kind of forget what it was like at the other place. You're, especially for me, my mind can't really, for some reason my mind can't really um, um, make sense of what was um, before and what was now. Sometimes I think of something that was actually before, and I think it happened actually in, in private school or whatever, or vice versa. So sometimes I get confused. Um, so, one of the things that's different is private military school, you are um, away from home, it's a boarding school, you live with your friends, you live with um, a lot of other people who you may not even necessarily get along with, but you have to live with them. You don't have a choice. Public school, you get to go home at the end of the day, you get to see your parents, see your friends outside of school, you go, you can do um, pretty much, you have a lot of freedom, you um, get you know, a home cooked meal every day. You know, you always got a ride to your to the movies or something like that whenever you want or whatever. Drive around, have a girlfriend. Um, private school, you can't really private military boarding school. You can't do that. Um, we have a set schedule every day. You know, you wake up, you go to um, morning formations. You got to stand outside of the cold. You got to do all this extra stuff that public school kids never have to deal with. Um, and it adds you know, a lot more stress onto us. Um, and that's why I think um, private boarding school is a lot cooler than uh, public school because you get a lot more respect from um, the community and you get a lot more respect from people who you went to public school with, if you ever went to public school. Quick funny story, when I was taking my SATs, um, we had to go to the local high school to take them and I remember it was me and three other four other guys um, all dressed in our best military uniform white over gray we looked you know pretty sexy because you know we were all we were all pretty we're all pretty muscular you know um, even I was more muscular before than I am now I've kind of fall off that fallen off that wagon but um <clears throat> we just looked pretty good I'm gonna say we looked good and um, seeing like these people show up in yoga pants and sweats and just t-shirt and jeans, you know, all giggling about something, something funny or um, just messing around. We were, we were honestly scared. Like I remember my friend um, Biggie, he was like, dude. I don't even know what's going on right now because he hadn't been to ever he had never been to a public high school before this was legit like his first time going to a public high school and he was he was like legit he said he was scared and I was like I'm right with you um, and there was like kids with like piercings everywhere and you know that's just not something we don't we don't see that any anymore we don't see that every day we're so used to everyone being exactly the same so it was just a different world for us. It was just something totally different, something we haven't experienced in a very long time. With me, it hasn't been that long, but after you've been in a private military school or a private school where it's all uniform or a boarding school mostly where you don't see people like that very often or at all, it's a very different experience. It's a very different world. Anyways, um, <clears throat> also in private military boarding school, we have formations, yay. You get to stay outside the cold for accountability. Make sure everyone's present, make sure nobody's missing. And if somebody's missing, then you have lockdown where nobody goes anywhere until they are found. Um, sneaking out. I mean, you can't, you can sneak out of your house. I mean, like that's not a big deal, you know, but sneaking out of a military school where, where they're in charge of you, where if you go missing or something happens to you, 
you know, that's really bad. So, there's a lot of things that are just so different. It's so crazy to think about. Um, let's see, what else? Public school, you get to have a life. Like, you get to go home and you get to uh, have a girlfriend or, you know, have these cool friends. I mean, don't get me wrong. These guys are sweet. I love them, but, you know. They get boring after a while. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, there's a lot of different things, you know, about public school that I kind of, I kind of missed. I guess you could say, like I missed being able to go home and seeing my parents every day. As much as a pain they can be sometimes. Like I know for a lot of people are like, oh, I, I would love to go to a private school or private boarding school where I wouldn't have to see them every day. I hate my parents. They're so restrictive. But when finally you do leave, and especially when you're still in high school, um, for me, I was only a high school senior, so it wasn't that bad. But even for me, it was like, damn. Like, you never really realize what you have until you, you don't have that anymore. And, you know, I never really talked to my parents very much. Um, I, I would talk to them every once in a while. And when I did, you know, it was, it was short-lived because I had, I had to be somewhere. But they had to be somewhere or whatever. But it's just like, wow, I never, you know, thought this this could happen where you know, I would go months or weeks without talking to them. And I remember, like, on my um, my dad my dad's anniversary with, with my stepmom, you know, I called them and I was like, happy an anniversary, thank you for sending me to school um, here. You know, like, that kind of thing. It's just like, I didn't even get to go see them or anything. And you only get to leave for breaks, especially when you're someone like me and you live way up north and you're living in Virginia. If you don't live right in Virginia, you don't live close by, you can pretty much only see your parents and go home and see the other people that aren't, you know, your fellow cadets um, for breaks like Thanksgiving, Christmas, and that's pretty much it. There isn't much. Um... Military school also, you know, there's physical aspect to it. There's a lot of physical um, engagement. There's a lot of um, working out, a lot of push-ups, a lot of um, training, a lot of that kind of stuff that, you know, you don't get to really experience in public school. Like, there's public school JROTC, but I don't think it's very, you know, I've, I've met a couple, I have a couple friends that were in public school JROTC, and they loved it, but... I think the full experience with JROTC comes from a military school. If you're planning on going to the military and you know you join your public school on um, JROTC thinking that you're going to be gung-ho or whatever, definitely not. Because to, um, especially to like military um, cadets, like uh, my, the school I went to, you're a joke. Like, public JROTC is a joke. I mean, I, I mean, I don't be, need to be an ass about it, but, like, it's just not respectable to us. It's, um, you don't have to do Jared to see 24-7. You don't, you don't have to go, you know, you can just, like, call in sick. Like, you can't call in sick unless you are dying and going to the hospital. You pretty much can't get out of it. And there's a lot more. It's not just you go to an event and you have a practice after school. It's, you have practice every day. At the same time, you know, whether it's snowing or whatever it is, you know, it's um, a very, very different experience from public school. And I'm really, really glad I went. In the next video that I do, I'll be um, talking about why I went to military school. Because that's also a very common question I get is why did I go? Why would I choose that lifestyle? Why would I want to go to something that's restrictive and, you know, boundary limiting and just overall not fun sounding? Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a video that shows a little bit about military school in the description. So be sure to check that video out. Um, thank you to, to the general for um, giving me that link. Um, so general, if you're watching this, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, favorite, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. This has been Acrylics. Peace out.